John, thanks. Well, a News Channel 11 investigation found Vivient Healthcare owner Sam Goldner has had a number of his nursing homes shut down by the government this year. Yeah, the latest in our region. Residents of the nursing home in Bristol, Tennessee have until December 10th to find another place to live. Federal government cutting off payments to Vivian Healthcare, citing, quote, immediate jeopardy to residents. Digital reporter Jeff Keeling talks to a healthcare consumer advocate that says the system has made it too easy for nursing home owners to divert money away from resident care. Sam Brooks is with the National Consumer Voice for Quality Long Term Care. He says Medicare and Medicaid's lax oversight of nursing home finance has created an opportunity for short-term profit. They didn't create the system. They saw it. You come get your millions of dollars and you have no repercussions. You know, the, the, there's, there's really nothing to, to prevent them from doing it. Brooks said direct care staff and even administrators usually know things aren't right, but they may not know why. The facilities are themselves and the workers in them are rarely in on the grift of pulling the money out. They're not even privy to it. They get paid, you know, poor wages. They work in these horrible conditions. And we know that a lot of them are providing amazing care. He says by the time the government steps in, harm has often occurred. They're seeing the writing on the wall, but they're waiting until the crisis occurs, which is happening right now. First, leaving residents vulnerable. The human cost is a decrease in staff, decrease in food, decrease in therapy. And so what you're likely seeing in those facilities is just suffering and harm. And eventually, families worried and scrambling. And these are all certain traumas. I mean, they've been studied, discharge trauma and all of those things. And it's all chaos, right? And it all falls on residents and their families. Brooks thinks there's a way to cut down on situations like Vivian's. Staffing level requirements and financial transparency. You have to show what you got and how you paid for that was reasonable. It's what you would have paid for if you went out on the open market. Sunlight will sanitize a lot of this because people will not believe what's going on here. You know, how the millions and billions are really being siphoned off. Jeff Keeling, News Channel 11. Thank you, Jeff. News Channel 11 has reached out to Vivian Healthcare for comment and has not yet received a response from its representatives.